Hey guys, welcome back to Horton's Flower Farm. So today I'm gonna to be going around the farm with you. It's March, I'm in zone 7B, and I wanna show you a March uh, farm tour of what's going on in the farm. We're here to weed because we are a no-till farm now, and we did not pull the weeds in the fall. We left them to, to pull them in the spring because it's much easier to pull in the spring. So that's what this video is gonna be about, showing you what's happening on the farm, what a no-till farm looks like. Um, we didn't pull up the landscape fabric, it's not getting tilled, the soil's not being disturbed. So let's get started and I'll show you around what's going on the farm in the end of March. So it's been nice all week in the 50s and even 60 yesterday and today the temperatures decided to drop down to the 30s with a wind chill like in the high 20s. But it's the only day we could get out here even though the whole week's going to be in the 50s. So we're here, my husband's over there, taking out the weeds from last season. So let's take a look around. Alright guys, so I'm going to show you the row with the Rubecchia and I had some over winter which is amazing. We had a nice mild uh, winter. So I'm just weeding through. Um, so we're doing no-till this year. So no-till means if you look at the farm, we left all of the plants the way they were and we didn't pull them because now it's super easy to pull the plants out. Um, since you know, they went through the winter, they just pull right out. It's super easy. And I'm noticing here, you can see. The Rebecca is growing right here and right here. So I'm seeing some growth. Now, not in every one did they overwinter, but that's okay. I'm gonna make an estimate here and I didn't start my Rebecca yet. So based on what I'm seeing here, I'm gonna know how many I'm gonna to need to seed in for the season. And I did order plugs as well. So I'm gonna see what happens. Um, I had a different plan for this row actually. I wasn't gonna put the Rebecca here. I was gonna put them in my first row over there. But I guess I'm gonna have more Rebecca in this row, which is totally fine because everyone loved the Rebecca. I love it too. So yeah, so this is the row with the Rebecca. I'm gonna show you around what else I think reseeded itself. Some stuff looks like it's stuff, but I think it's weeds. So I'm gonna show you around a little bit more. Okay guys, so so now look, I'm gonna show you this one. So over here, I'm being careful because I see the Rebecca growing right there. You see it? So I don't wanna pull in case it's attached to the old plants. I'm just kind of breaking it off, taking this away, being super careful. And there it is. I'm gonna leave the other stem because it's kind of, look, if I wiggle it, I think it's attached almost to what was there. So we're gonna leave that and look at this beautiful one right here. See that? That's a nice one. So I'm just pulling, you know, everything away gently, making sure I'm not pulling the new seed growth. till looks like before we weed it out in the spring. All the plants are still there. We didn't touch them. They're going to be a lot easier to pull now. And it's no till. We have the fabric down. We're not taking the fabric up. It's going to stay there. We're going to add compost in the spring before we plant the seedlings in. So this is how it looks. Not pretty, but it's not disturbing the soil. So the soil is going to be better this year that we're not tilling it up. And yeah, it'll be a lot easier to pull the weeds. Okay, so I'm walking over to the row where it had the perennials. Um, this row over here had fever few in it. Um, it had echinacea in it. So I'm just looking now, as you can see, if you watch my other videos, this was the row that was overtaken by weeds, like completely. So it's still like that. I'm gonna be weeding it out, but I'm looking for new growth. And I did see echinacea growing back. So that's good, because it's supposed to. <laughs> um, all right, let me look and I'll flip the camera. Okay, guys. So bonus points if you know what's growing over here or if it's just a weed because there's nothing else in that this row growing and I'm not sure what this is. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to guess that this was an echinacea over here because that looks like the top of the cone flower. So let me go down to the bottom. Here I see it grow here. I think this is echinacea right here. It looks like it. 
Um, I'm looking over here to see if I see any here. It's just these here. Do you see anything in there yet? Okay. I see something growing. Do you see the purple? So maybe that's a start right there. Let's see what else we got here. Yeah, I think so. So the purple, as you can see, let me see, right there is the new growth of the echinacea plants here. Let me move some of this away. We'll see if we can find more. All right, guys, so it's cold and we're going to wrap it up for today. Um, there's still a lot more to weed. You know, everything takes more time than I thought it would. So I'm gonna be having my helpers come back this week in the warmer weather when we're not here. And they'll take updated pictures for me. They'll weed this more. And hopefully we'll be on our way to having a beautiful weed-free farm for now. <laughs> All right, guys, I'll see you on the next video.